Welcome to the vlog, everybody. It's 70 degrees outside, birds are chirping, construction's going on outside, so you know it's spring. It's currently a Tuesday afternoon. I have been sitting at my desk all morning editing, uh, hopefully getting out a video soon, but I just, I felt compelled to start the vlog right here, right now. So welcome in, take a seat. I'm gonna keep editing, but I just wanted to say hello. Welcome to the vlog and let's spend a few days in my life. Ah, the sweet, sweet sounds of warm weather in New York. So I have to leave in about 10 minutes for a dance class. I just spent all morning and afternoon editing a Q and A, which I thought was gonna be like a short and simple and sweet video to post, but it ended up being like 40 minutes long. It's the longest video ever. I will just not focus. I'm ready for dance class. Okay, I guess we're not in focus right now. Good, 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 good. I feel like I haven't given too good of a welcome for this vlog. Today's Tuesday, it's beautiful outside. I'm going to dance class um, and I'm just gonna film the next few days because why not? If you're new here, my name's Alexis. I'm 25, I live in Manhattan. So I'm gonna put on my shoes and head out to dance class. But before we leave, I wanna take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of today's video. So as you guys know, I adopted a cat four months ago and it was the best decision of my entire life. Me and Bennett are absolute best friends. He is the light of my life. I love him so much and I've spent the last four months trying to find the best of the best when it comes to toys, accessories, literally anything relating to cats. And that is why I am so excited that today's video is sponsored by Pawawi. As you guys know, I've been going through a lot of changes lately in my apartment and I've been getting a lot of new pieces and items and Pawawi has provided me with the perfect new addition to my home. So me and Bennett's favorite new item is the Karami Mobile Smart Pet Water Fountain. And this is the world's first NSF certified smart water fountain. Hawaii collaborated with the water purification brand Waterdrop, and their NSF filter has five stage deep filtration along with UV cycle sterilization. There's also dual water dispensing modes, fresh water experience, it's anti topple, and it's easy to clean. And it is battery operated with 30 day ultra long endurance. One of the most interesting and innovative parts of the water fountain is there's an app that you can download that accurately measures water intake by the means of the smart base and just helps you be more informed about your pet's health. Me and Bennett have been loving the water fountain because he he has a more interactive and fun way to drink water. He absolutely loves just staring at the fountain and watching the water come out. And I love that I can see how much water he's drinking because I've always wanted to make sure that he gets enough water because I know sometimes cats don't love drinking water. And most of Bennett's accessories are orange as well. So the color really worked out with our color scheme. So if you're interested in the Karami Smart Water Fountain, I have all the information linked below. I have genuinely already seen Bennett drinking more water since setting up the water fountain. Thanks so much again to Puawi for sponsoring this video. It is just the most beautiful weather in the world today and we just went to dance class and I feel amazing. home it is actually the most beautiful day in the world outside right now i wish that i had gotten outside a little more today because it was literally stunning i just had so much work to do today and i was editing like all day and finalizing the video now amazing dance class i love dancing there's a specific class i take during the week that is like therapy for me it just makes me feel so good and like so happy to just be dancing and be in a space with other people and like it gives me just motivation that I can like do it. Um, and then walking out of class and it being beautiful outside and the trees are blooming and everybody's so happy. Like it just, I love it. I love that energy. Um, I really, really, really want a piece of pizza, which I never want. I like never crave pizza. I've never really been a huge fan of it, but I did order a piece of pizza. I should have gotten it while I was outside, but now I'm up here and it's, it's too late now to go back out. I actually really want some carrots and hummus. That sounds delicious to me. My favorite hummus of all time, Ithaca lemon garlic hummus. This is so good. Look at that. A pepperoni Sicilian slice with cheese filled crust. 
Like, are you kidding? Okay, I don't love pizza, but if I'm gonna eat pizza, I have an obsession with cheese-filled crust. I remember there was one summer where I was like ravenous for it. I would call several pizza places, always being like, do you have cheese-filled crust? <laughs> and no one ever did. Um, but I was just looking on the menu at this place and they had a cheese-filled crust piece. And I love that. Like a cheese-filled DiGiorno pizza, I can, I can eat that. I think I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna eat dinner though. I'm so tired. I'm literally acting like it is um, 6 a.m. It's literally like 8.20 something right now. Like it's not that early. I just, I physically have not been getting up early. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just go to bed every night at like 1, 1 or 2 a.m. And then it's so hard for me to get up, but I had to wake up. When the clock strikes 8.30, I need to call and rent a room because me and Emily are going to film an audition for something today. It's good that I have no, absolutely no voice right now because I have to sing. Um, and we want to get the room for like 9.30, so I have an hour to pull myself together. Yeah, if, if there's a room available. I usually book my studios to film stuff through Ripley Greer, which has multiple locations, but if you book the day of, you get 20% off. I, I want it to be cheaper. So naturally I always wait till the day of to book my room, but then it's a fine line. Cause you're booking the day of, so the room you want might not be available, but you need to do it that day, so it's cheaper. Hi, thanks for calling Ripley Greer Studios and Ripley Greer Flexible Spaces. If you want to go straight to the booking office, please press one. What time are you looking for today? Um, I was looking for 9.30 to 11.30. Perfect. Can I take 4F? 4F? Okay, 4F it is. I'll send you email confirmation. You have a great day. Great. Thank you so much. Got the room. I was on hold for like 10 minutes. Now we got to get ready for this audition. Wow, it is such a gloomy day. Okay, I don't know why it's, oh, not, what is that? It is so incredibly dark. I think I'm gonna have to bring my ring light with me because I feel like the natural light in the studio is not gonna be great either. I'm finishing packing my bag. I'm gonna meet Emily outside and we're gonna head over to the studio. <laughs> Here we are, filming auditions and we match. As usual. I say we match as usual, but this is new. We never used to match. We would be completely opposite aesthetics. What? We would. Would we not? We would match our hair. We would match our hair because Emily would do my hair. I look greasy. Um, but we're filming. We filmed singing, now we're filming dancing. Okay, I came home and changed and now I'm literally going right to the gym because I forgot I wanted to work out today. Emily's at a coffee shop, so I might meet her there after and my friend Bailey 
and I might do some work at the coffee shop, otherwise I'll just come home after. I'm feeling like a crazy person. I signed up for another dance class. I saw that a teacher I really like is filming their class day and they're doing a combination that I really liked that I did a few weeks ago that I wanted to do again. It all started, so me and Emily bought tickets to see Shucked tonight. It's a new show on Broadway. We've been really wanting to see it. It just opened last night. We wanted to go. So we got tickets literally in the last row. And then I saw that a teacher that I really love is teaching today at Broadway Dance Center and he's doing a combination that I did a few weeks ago that I really want to do, but he's also filming it. And I was like, oh, should I go? So I'm a crazy person and I, I signed up. Now I have to leave in like 20 minutes for dance class. So I'm currently submitting for the audition that I just filmed this morning. Went to the gym, went to the cafe, ate my thing. I need to eat more food, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm just moving a lot today, but I don't know. I feel like some days I just have my crazy theater days and it feels so good. Like this is what life used to be before the pandemic. I feel like I'd just be running around all day doing theater related things. Currently on my computer, finishing submitting this audition. Um, I talked about auditions a little bit in my Q and A, but all of them are different. So this is for a national tour and it's a non-union national tour, so it's an open call, so not equity people. I am submitting as like ensemble dancer, but also for leads, so I filmed a song this morning. They said you can send musical theater or pop rock, so I sang Ain't It Fun by Paramore. It's like my go-to pop rock, or at least it was before the pandemic. I'm bringing it back. Um, and then I filmed the dance combination. I feel really good about both of them, um, but I get so nervous. You literally submit through Google Form, this initial thing, and then if you get lucky, they'll watch it and you'll get an in-person call back. Um, but I just get so nervous, I'm gonna mess up the Google form whenever I submit it. They literally posted this call two days ago on one website and it just got posted today on the rest of the audition websites that are a little more well-known. Recently, I've been hearing that if the later you submit, the less of a chance they'll watch it. So that's why me and Emily booked it to a studio and we filmed this stuff right away because I want the best chance that it'll get seen. Hi, my name is Alexis Eldridge. I'm five foot four, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm currently based in New York City. I have been checking to make sure I have the right stuff for like three hours. Submit. I'm submitted. Okay. Deciding to walk through the middle of Times Square was the biggest mistake I made all day. I'm like fighting for my life to get over to 8th. I'm cutting through the Marriott Marquis right now. Shucked was amazing, but we'll talk about it later. I'm home, I'm back. Shucked was amazing. It was just so funny. And it was an original plot, original score, which I feel like you just don't see much of these days. I feel like every musical these days is based on a movie or based on a TV show or the songs are from some musical group. Like, I feel like there's nothing original anymore. And it was just something like super, super fun to see. Like, I was so happy to see it. I'm so disgusting and sweaty because I've just been running around all day. Uh, my dance class was good. One of the leads called out last minute and the understudy went on. Their opening night was last night. So they had a few weeks of previews, but they officially opened yesterday. And the guy who went on literally had like never had a rehearsal really. They, they announced at the end of the show, they said that he had like minimal rehearsal. He probably had never done it on that stage with the cast. And he did it amazing. He was so funny. And then, so a swing had to go on. And then another swing went on and it was her Broadway debut. And that was just really special. It makes me like 
emotional when I'm watching these things because I'm like, wow, what a special moment. And like, I was able to be a part of that. The night that that girl is going to remember forever. And I was there. Um, I need to eat because I feel like I just have not eaten enough today. I had a piece of pizza in between my dance class and the show. I have some pasta I think that I'm gonna eat. I've just been eating pizza and pasta all day, every day. I, I can't believe I've had two pieces of pizza two days in a row because I usually hate pizza. I don't know what's going on. Well, I don't hate pizza, but it's never my first choice. Also, I walked through Times Square, it was so crowded. Um, I just hate getting on the subway at Times Square. I feel like it's just so chaotic. So usually I'll walk up to the next stop and I walked past it. I don't know what I was doing. I like walked over an avenue from it. And then I just kept walking. I was like, I'm gonna walk home. But then I was like, mm, do I really wanna walk home? It's like 9.45. So I got a cab thinking it wouldn't be that expensive. I wasn't going that far and it was like 20 bucks. I was like, okay. I also feel like I just spent so much money today. But literally anything that remotely relates to theater these days, I'm like, it makes me happy. What's the point of living if I can't live in the city and do the things that make me happy? So I make it work. What's the point? If I can't do all the theater stuff, why am I in New York? Why does my hair look so dark while it's wet today? I just discovered Maisie Peters and I'm obsessed with her music. She's incredible. I've been like obsessed. I've only been listening to her like all morning. Good morning. I woke up, immediately took a shower. Um, so what's on the agenda for today? Well, I just made my breakfast, my classic hash brown egg veggies. Um, and today we are going to Queens. So I need to keep getting ready. I need to eat this food. It's currently 11.08. We're trying to leave by 11.30. I definitely slept in a little later than I should have. Um, well, I woke up at nine. I was just like laying in my bed. And then when I washed my hair, like that's a naturally long shower. I need to leave by 11.30 because I am going to walk across the park, um, go meet up with Emily. I feel like lately Emily seems like my only friend. We share a lot of common interests that the rest of our friends don't, so I feel like that's why we're always doing stuff together. It's pretty nice out right now. It's gonna storm later, but it's like gonna be 70 degrees. So I'm gonna walk across Central Park to get on the subway because today we're going to Queens. I honestly don't go to Queens as much as I should. Um, I've really only been to Astoria and Long Island City a few times. My friend Erin, who has been in a few vlogs. She actually has a YouTube channel. I shared a video a few weeks back of hers. She is doing this like game show video thing for a dessert company. I actually really don't have that many details. I'm actually a little confused what I'm going to, but my new motto these days is just saying yes. And she asked if anybody wanted to do this video game show type thing for this restaurant company. I don't know. I really don't know what it is. And it's paid. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not? I have nothing to do today. So I'm going to Sunnyside, Queens. And then from there, we're probably going to go to Astoria Park. Um, but I think it'd be fun to just take you along. I don't know how much I can actually film while I'm there because I ha literally have no idea what I'm doing. She said we're athletic clothes, so I'm in them. I don't think I've ever gone to Queens in a vlog before. This will be fun. I think this will be great. We're going to see some new neighborhoods we don't usually see. I don't think I've ever been to Sunnyside. So it's gonna be great. So I am going to, now I have 20 minutes to get ready. I need to dry my hair, ideally. Um, so I'm gonna eat, get ready, and then we're gonna head off. I'm ready. Uh, it's 11.45. It's definitely later than I wanted it to be. Also, I feel like I wear this green pastel corduroy shirt as like a jacket in the spring. Like I wore this yesterday too. It's just like the perfect thing to put on over an outfit. And it's gonna be pretty hot. I probably am gonna have to take it off. Let's, let's go. It literally smells like spring. It smells like in school when you were a kid and you would finally get to go outside for recess after winter and it just smelled like fresh air. It's amazing.
Uh, yeah, the heights. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, because it's like it feels like a long way to go. You could do tricks. That works. It's really not that bad. All right, we're done with our shoot. We like filmed content for a, a chicken company that wanted to do like reels and TikToks. Um, and it was fun. We played a ton of random games, but now we're just wandering Astoria. And we went to Sunnyside, but then we went to Astoria Park. And now we're gonna go get some Mexican food. And we were thinking of maybe going back to the city, but we're expanding our horizons. Yeah. And we are getting food in a different neighborhood. Trying something new. And it is gorgeous out. It never stormed. A vlogger's got a vlog. I am literally shaking right now. I cannot know peace. This is the biggest cockroach I have ever caught, and I did it myself. And my mom, my mom is on FaceTime with me right now because I need moral support. I am shaking. I was just sitting, minding my own business. I'll talk to you in a minute, I'll talk to you in a minute. I really don't know how I caught this, and I don't even know how I'm sanely holding this right now. It's actually giving me the creeps. This is a huge cockroach, um, but I taped the container. The container's going. It's just all being thrown out because this cockroach flies, and if I tried to flush him or do anything like that he probably would fly away okay i actually really don't like the noises he's making now my mom is still on the phone also i have like a line on my do you see this i have like a line on my face because i was like laying on my bed like being like nah, nah, nah. Oh, I was gonna ask you, you scratched your face. no i just had like my hand on my face like i was like scrolling i was uh, i was in a good mood just relaxing for once in my life god forbid literally yuck like e i still have, like chills from that i feel all gross i just washed my face man that was like the biggest cockroach i've ever caught i don't know if it's the biggest one i've ever seen it's up there but oh my gosh when it flew at me ugh, ugh, like i ooh, like the hair on my arm is literally standing up can i not know peace in this place like knock on wood i literally have been like lucky to not really have any roaches in this apartment i had one really big one a little bit after i moved in it was huge i caught it never saw one again i'm hoping that's just like my one a year you know my new yorker good luck need one can't have none i'm really hoping that was all that was and it was just like a freak thing oh i feel so creepy crawly it's also crazy like i'm like where did he come from i literally just <laughs> my whole apartment was just fumigated i mean for a different kind of bug but like i literally just cleaned every single thing in my apartment spotless i'm like where'd you come from i had my pajamas on i was just like laying in bed before i got ready for bed i was just watching some tiktoks just hanging out and then i heard bennett like making a weird noise in the kitchen he, he was on top of the cabinets like chasing this bug and i was like oh my gosh then i threw him in the bathroom and shut the door i didn't want him to eat it like i don't know what that would do to him um and then it literally i had to call my mom and took everything i had to catch that bug so i got it in the container and then i like slid the lid underneath I could buy a new container that it had to go because there was no way i was opening that up trying to flush it or something because he could fly so no absolutely not um but today was a pretty solid day like i i feel like i had a pretty good day filming the games was fun it definitely was very different than i thought it would be i thought it was going to be like on a youtube channel for a dessert place but it was actually like reels and shorts for a chicken place um but it was fun um we just played a lot of traditional korean games the owners of the business are from korea so they incorporate a lot of that into their business so we filmed that from like one to four in astoria park and then after that aaron had to leave but me and emily wanted to get a little margarita because it was just so beautiful outside it was such a nice day so we found a little place and had a few margaritas there and then we took the boat across. There's a ferry that's super cool. I took it once last year from Williamsburg to Midtown. Um, and it kind of goes back and forth on the east side. So this ferry line goes from, I think it goes all the way to Wall Street, but 
it goes from Astoria across to East 90th Street. And Emily lives on the east side, so it's very convenient for her especially. So we took that across, and literally it's crazy. You get on three minutes later, you're off. It's so fast. Um, it's four bucks, but I mean, it's just so much better than taking the subway all the way across to Midtown and then Uptown. It's just, it's way better. We got off, and then I was gonna walk through the park, but it, the sun was setting. I don't really love walking through Central Park when it's dark outside. So I I like walked all the way to the edge of the park and I was like, mm, the sun has set too much. So I waited for the bus. I don't even think I filmed that. I think I forgot. It was supposed to thunderstorm, but I don't even, I never heard me. It might be like sprinkling or something outside, but it never actually really stormed. Um, I kind of think I'm going to end the vlog here. I, I only wanted this to be a few days. I feel like I got a good amount of stuff done. We danced, we saw shows. We auditioned and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I think I'm going to call it puts here. But I want to say thank you again to Pawawi for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.